new map, neural human radiance field from a single video. Our goal is to reconstruct both the background scene and the animatable human model from a single video. On the left is the input video, and we reconstruct the scene and the human models as shown in the middle. With the two reconstructed models, we can render novel poses of the human, as well as novel views. To render a pixel, we shoot a ray from the camera center to the scene, and generate samples along the ray. For the samples far away from the human, we feed them to the scene of model. For the samples passing through the human, we warp them to the canonical space via a warping field, and then evaluate the color using the human nerve. Then, we merge the outputs from the two nerve models to obtain the final color. Our scene nerve model is a static nerve model. We train it by only reconstructing the background pixels detected by mask CNN. The video on the left is the raw video overlaid with mask CNN detections. By simply ignoring the human pixels during training, we can move the dynamic human in the video as shown on the right. Here are more examples. Our scene nerve model can successfully reconstruct the background scene even with limited coverages. The human branch consists of two major components, the warping field and the human nerve model. Why do we need a warping field? It's because that in order to drive the human model with any given poses, we require the human model to be pose independent. When rendering an articulated pose on the right, we first use simple as our driving template and unfold it to the dark pose and evaluate the colors in this canonical space. We need a warping field to transform the points from the observation space to the canonical space. To do so, for a sample in the observation space, we find its closest point on the simple mesh and copy the transformation of that closest point to transform the sample to the canonical space, as shown in the blue boxes. Since our human nerve model is static, to compensate the dynamics of the closing and the articulation beyond the simple expressiveness, for the training frames, we also apply error correction network to offset those warping arrows as shown in the green boxes. Once the samples are transformed into the canonical space, we can evaluate the density and RGB color using the human nerve and the scene nerve, and merge the two sets of samples for the final integral. To properly train the human nerve model, we also need to know the scale of the human. We use COMAP to obtain the camera poses and the sparse scene point cloud, and ROMP to estimate the simple parameters. The two methods use different coordinate systems. We solve the PMP problem to align the human and the scene. Then, we segment the ground plane from the scene point cloud using RANSAC and scale the human such that the feet are touching the ground. We use color supervision together with many regularizations to train the human nerve model. We also jointly optimize the simple poses during training. As shown in the examples here, the left is the original image, the middle left is the simple estimates from ROMP, the middle right is the pre-processed simple estimates using silhouettes, and the image on the right is the nerve-optimized poses. Color supervision helps to correct the head orientation in these two examples. Let's see some demos. On the top left is the training video, on the top right is the canonical human, on the bottom left is the novel view rendering of the background, and on the bottom right is the novel human pose rendering. Our method also supports rendering of multiple people. Here we show two people shaking hands together. All models are reconstructed using our method. The bottom left corner shows the alignment of the simple mesh and the scene point cloud. Here's another example where three people are dancing together in a synchronized fashion. Thanks for watching.